I saw her in the flippy screen. It's gonna grab her. There's a box on her. Be careful. We're on the Panasonic S1H with the 24 to 105 F4 in shutter priority, like a pro. So the, I mean, aperture priority, like an unpro. We're at 1,000th for the smooth motion. This is good. All right, I'll do shutter priority. Oh, we're so friendly now. F9, you believe in that? It shows you. I love that about the S1H, it shows you everything. On the GH5S, you can't see what ISO you're at during recording. Wow, let's go, I'm gonna epic B-roll you so hard today. So hard. I asked God for a break, but he said, he said to, wait. to wait. I said I can't fake another day. He said you have to find a way, son. Don't take it personal, the universe is full of hurt. And it hurts. Don't let me catch you make a mistake. Cause if you step away from the pain, you don't progress in the game. Turned his friends into enemies. Now he has a self-centered energy and a lot of bad memories. It's a little windy. So hopefully the road micro handles our life. Let's go up this way. Feels like nobody goes here. That could be safe. I'm not gonna lie, it's heavy. It's doable. It's not like completely unreasonable. We got the little Siriu tripod. I'm afraid it's gonna break and drop the investment. Henry's is gonna kill me. Henry himself. That's gonna be a nightmare. Now I seem to be clipping a bit. So maybe we can lower the exposure compensation. Let's try it. Okay, I just minus one thirded my ass. We're at F11, constantly changing. So let's pay attention to the stabilization and the autofocus. We're in full autofocus mode. Full frame sensor, let's not forget that. And it's so heavy. Although that should technically help with the stabilization. The little movement shouldn't be so jittery and shaky. I think the lens has stabilization too. And it's on. I bet you there's a face exposure mode that I'm not on right now. But I also brought the Panasonic G85 with that giant 10 to 25 mil. So we'll do a little bit of comparison, but I only brought one tripod and there's no way I'm holding both of them out. So I'll just intersperse it throughout this video. Are we focused and perfectly exposed? <laughs> We're on the Panasonic. G85 with the 10 to 25 mil f1.7. How's that? Oh, it's, it's heavy, but it's a lot lighter than that S1H. Holy shit. So the real question is, do we need a rig like this? Especially since I'm in shutter priority mode. We're at f11. There's no blurry background. It's super bright. So there's zero need for a full frame sensor. There's a helicopter ruining my audio right now. So this is a mistake, clearly. But I'd be lying if I said it wasn't fun. This is, hey. They, they didn't want to be a part of the show. What, geeks? Probably photographers. Mom, hold my son. <coughs> Thanks for not killing him. And we just tap to focus, and of course it nailed it. Did you get it? Why do I feel like it's not getting it? See, that's the bitch about being a Panasonic user when you can't see your own autofocus. Oh, is there any wavy shit? That stabilization better be perfect. Pay attention to it, my friend. Oh, is the exposure handling this perfectly? Damn you, sunlight and trees and clouds. All working against me. I wonder how Panasonic handled that bright light. It's gonna happen again, it just happened. Fine. Clipping, but it goes back quick, looks like. Wow, look at you. It's funny, I've been dreaming of this. Vlogging with a full frame camera, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. I'm not gonna lie. I got no fast lens. The lens was supposed to be like 1.8 to blur the background, even though we want to see it. Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. <laughs> what are the odds? You know what I love about this? Although, I can see my face is wider than the ghosts of Satan's. 
bedroom right now. But we're fine. I love the control. That's what I love. It's not so much the full frame look outside, blurry background, all that. It's the control. Exposure compensation. Boom. It didn't work, but it's nice that I can pretend to, and these shadows are so flattering right now. It's the perfect time of day. It's golden out. Noon. It's the new golden out. This is why I think smartphones or the GoPro are going to be your better option for vlogging. You don't have to worry about all this shit. Like, look, complete darkness again. Oh, it's a dark age. I kind of like having this zoom range with that 105 mil. Some squirrels are running around and before, every time on my little Sony with the 17 mil, it's just 17, I can't see anything off in the distance. It's like I see this epic scene right now and then you do it on the Sony, everything just looks so far away. It's kind of fun having the zoom, it's heavy. You pay a price for it. Is this epic footage? Are you enjoying yourself? Have a snack while you're here. I would love to see this level of control in a smaller like GX8 style body. Something like that. With some decent autofocus like this, it works. I think we'll have to review the footage out in the street, but in the studio, my living room, as I like to call it, it works fine. It's perfect. I perfectly trust it. So this is how far I usually hold my 15 mil lens out to. There's people behind me. Uh, walk faster. Out oh, walk. How's that? That's actually kind of cool. Until that. Until that happens. The sunlight. I love this lens. I want it. Oh, it's so unnecessarily long. And we can zoom in on the fly. Or change focus. Whatever one. Oh, oh my god. That really zooms. Are we still in focus though? Is this epic? 50 mil vlogging? Wow, I'm so cool, I didn't even realize it. Oh, no wonder, I'm not even in auto white balance. God damn it, I'm in the studio lighting this whole time. Oh, I hate you. I hate you, Panasonic. Why didn't you save to my custom mode? How dare you? I tell you, my channel is absolutely filled with blunders like that at all times. Just the wrong setting at the wrong time. Me not knowing what's happening. Just Jesus. It looks so much better now with the white balance. Panasonic, you've made me proud. You've made me proud. You cost $70,000 and you're heavy. I'll be darn it. You look good.
You look good. I wonder if it's stable. We will have to see. What if I try spot metering? Okay, are we in focus? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Am I? And then you point over there and it gets bright. But if we stay here and as I walk into the shadows, oh my god. Life hack confirmed. Panasonic G85, the greatest vlogging camera that ever lived. Just don't move your head from the spot. It's a tiny square, you gotta keep yourself there. Is this good content? It could be. So I think the answer is yes. You can vlog on a Panasonic S1H with the kit zoom. They call it a kit, but it's thousands of dollars. <laughs> Why do I almost, almost die? <laughs> Vlogging's very dangerous. Wait, there. The box is in my face. Oh, I rule a thirded too hard. And the rule of fourths. This is good. This is good times. It's an interesting lens, but I'll do a little comparison after in another video with the Leica 15mm versus this at 15mm since they're both 1.7. Which one would be better? Oh, that metering. That metering. I swear to God. How? How do people do this? I'm gonna record a little clip in 6K. I can't even edit it. I can't even play it. So I'm just gonna do a one take thing and upload it straight to YouTube and see what happens. See if the internet explodes with the file. That thing. And it will be perfectly exposed and white balanced. Oh God, the wind. Stop. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Up if you like, subscribe for more videos. See you later.